Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of this Astrogoth campaign here. So, I'm getting a new army. Uh, yep, I'm getting more units too. And I just remembered that because I'm trying to confederate, that might be a bad choice, but who knows. Uh, maybe they don't have good units, or maybe they have too many good units, so we'll see that. So, over here, Kislev is not attacking for now, so I'm going to try and dominate the north part of the empire as best as I can. And what else? Yeah, I'm moving in some my, all my armies just to defend against the Empire because, of course, now that I'm at peace with Kislev, I gotta take the advantage, the opportunity. There are some enemies here, and I can tell that Baltasar Gelt, at least I, I can see three main stacks. One for Baltasar Gelt, three for Baltasar Gelt, and three for, for, the, the, for Reichland, so that's a lot of armies to deal with. And so far I do want to have some delays here, some garrisons, you know, as you can see, which is good. You know, it, 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 it sometimes people don't realize that garrisons itself don't do much, but they cause the AI to take different actions, you know, they cause the AI to be more careful, to, to wait for a little bit uh, of time, to gather more units, and that buys you time to do ambushes, that buys you time to get more troops to the front, you know, to, to just focus you know on another part while you just slowly uh, slow them down uh, Durek Dracula he's getting some more units as you can see here some units from the outposts while Feastus is just you know trying to become a noise annoying to to the Empire and uh, I'm just focusing money and garrisons at this point I'm not focusing anything else really so yeah that's a thing and yeah, I got my units. This is not exactly an army. You know, it's just a bunch of units that I was bringing to the front to give to Astrogoth, to get to other guys. So for now, it will have to do. <laughs> I'll see if I can merge some units here and there, but it's not the purpose. And all the all the meantime, in the meantime, I'm defending here. I, I did defend on the high place and managed to kill some units. I didn't show you. I, I won't show you every single battle. You've seen how I'm fighting right now. But... Uh, overall, the the idea is just to to try and and destroy specific units, mainly gyrocopters for the dwarves, mainly artillery units. Those are the best uh, prospects. And of course, because I have the the army abilities, it helps. It helps a lot uh, that uh, even garrisons can defend themselves uh, properly with those. You know. So just getting, I use kind of same build all over with 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 these guys. Uh, Reforge. Do I do I want Reforge on this guy? Do I? Or do I want Infernal Engineer? What do I have here? Hold on. W what's this army? Oh, good. Yeah, I, I, it's the one for artillery. Okay, good, 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 good. Yeah, I could get that as well, but not yet. So, yeah, I'll be moving very slowly, ambushing, trying to, to get everything here. And I am to the point that I can uh, confederate. And I'm thinking either Servants of the Conclave, not the Legion. The Legion seems to have nearly nothing. So the War Host of Tsar, of course, the War Host is dominating a lot of these places in districts. So I would love those. But, yeah, these guys just have these random stuff. But really, I think I would would dislike having to go against these guys. And I, it seems like they're winning more territory, so why not let them win more territory even, and then I'll confederate, you know, that sort of idea. So that's kind of the case. And yeah, these guys actually has good units. So maybe I should go for him. Huh. Maybe, 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 maybe. I'll have to decide. I'll have to to think about it through a little bit, you know. I was thinking on even getting yet they had a second army just and I think I have enough gold for it, hopefully. Okay. Let's check. Do I want casual replenishment rate? Global recruit duration. Uh, that's cool and all. This is cool for the artillery. That one's useless. Amber success chance it's fine. I like it. Income from raiding. Well I'm not raiding too much. I should raid a little bit more. Yeah, this is cool. Recruit rank, yeah, maximum active. Okay, that's cool. Weapon strength, all characters. That's nice. Ward save, all characters. Okay, that's cool. What do we have in sorcery? Diplo relations. More, more money. 
Hmm. Industry, I think I have to go into industry stuff. Anything that is upkeep, anything that is income. Yeah, I gotta go for it. Okay, okay. Yeah, I th well, I th let's go for the casual replenishment rate. That helps so much. And I'm, I'm getting into places where, you know, I can have some difficulties with some, uh, some corruption and stuff. So, or lack thereof. So... The Enlagas group not okay. How, how can I? Uh, it wasn't working. Can I? Can I? How can I go for the the skills? Can I just use the skill? Oh, I clicked on the wrong one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The other one does doesn't work. Okay, so firing drills. Yep, let's go. Here's some. And overall, overall, what we want here. The same idea. I need I need to double check this guy. There's only one artillery, really, but uh, source of scratch for physical resistance. I think a spell is better, isn't it? What do we have here? Everything on the last part and over here. I don't have aspect of the Dread Knight. Uh, Spirit Leech. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. Much better. I need that. And. In terms of buildings, yeah, I'll see to it. It's just a lot of building up, and then I'll need to recruit more units. I'll think about it. So, yeah. Okay. So, what do we have? Good developments here overall. Kislev doesn't seems to be recovering a little bit, but it's not causing me any, any wars or anything. So, hopefully... This whole area will become mine very soon. I'm not attacking, but either you know they're, they're going to get destroyed enough so that I can declare and, and just beat him with one army. Astrogoth. Uh, I didn't want to actually move him from here. I think I made a bad decision putting Astrogoth on this place. Because if he was down, he would be a much better army to deal with everything that, that the Empire is pushing through. You know? Like, he should be the one in the place of Durak Dracula and, and vice versa. So let me try to split those. I don't know if that will be possible, given the timings, of course. Uh, Mulge actually managed to do a really potent job defending here and got an ambush, so defeated one army. So let's see what Baltazar Gelt brings to the table, actually. So, uh, what else? What else do we have? Oh, yeah. Uh, still no ambush here, and this guy is quite powerful, so I gotta be careful. Gotta be careful with that. And I haven't yet decided too much in terms of the units here. I just got some more Bale Taurus's ideas here with, with the stuff. Uh, mainly I want to go for Confederacy. And what do I want to confederate these guys? I think so. I think I want Zarnagrund to get the long victory as soon as possible. Then I can get the other ones. I mean, it's 600. I'm earning 100 a turn. It's like six turns for the next one. So it's not like it's a problem, you know. Uh, and actually it helps me to deal with the armies and to predict how I'll be after the armies. So I'm considering that. I'm considering that. Let, let me, let's go for it. Let's claim that seat. Okay. Yeah. Let's do let's yeah, I think that's the best the best way actually. So of course they lose the ally outposts. Let's go. And yep, yeah, we got two big armies actually, with lots of good units. Uh, the lords and heroes are not bad. Yeah, heroes are are never really bad. Uh, this lord, let me see it. Okay, they're not bad. That's that's cool. You know, they, he focused on the on the yellow line, but it's it's fine. And overall, I think I have everything well here built. Uh, I mean, I'm I'm gonna have some decisions whether or not. Um, it has. It's a wonderful place actually to build up everything. I mean, it, it's even more developed than I my own places, including with the dreadquake mortars. So that's cool. Yeah, I'll have to double check and clear up some more, you know, use some more armaments to, to get some more of these units. And I have a lot of Bell Tauruses here, which is good, because I can have a couple of armies with that. I mean, three in one army, two in one army. Yeah, I think that's cool. 
and I'll have to decide a couple of these armies how they're going to work. But you can see that, like the income, how it's going. Uh, I don't know if if it is going to stabilize or not. You know, sometimes you're just building a couple of buildings that will allow that, and sometimes you're not. <laughs> you're actually going to lose some more, and uh, that's the issue. So we'll see. We'll see. The idea is positive, you know, that I can have, I can deal with like minus 1000 or minus 2000 income just by fighting a lot, which has been happening, of course, but I'll have to, I'll have to check, I'll have to check really. So, what am I going to go for? What am I going to go for here? It doesn't have the refinery building that gives income, so yeah. Okay. I'll have some decisions, but that's a confederacy. That's good. So, further developments. I think I'm going to send out Astrogoth to the south here. And yeah, we do have even more empire units, ar armies here. I got to get rid of Marius Leitorf here. I think Sundrims can reach it. Yeah, let's go. Okay, Balthazar Geld ran away. They actually conquered there. Oh, okay. It's just an auto resolve, fairly easy. Let's get gold because I'm I'm requiring the gold, as you can see there. Actually, it exaggerated with the with the units that I'm getting. Oh, I need spread control. Yeah, I, I honestly need that. W when you're conquering, you really, those small details help so much. And I, I uh, they sacked Needling here, so I'm pretty sure that uh, Balthazar Gelt is around here. So I'm going to show you what, how I typically do things. Just send out a hero at least, okay, to see what you can find. You know, I don't see any any enemy armies, and then really just. Go, go slow, okay? And it works so much, so well, okay? It just... <laughs> see? <laughs> because you gotta give time for your heroes to actually spot something, okay? And yeah, let's let's fight it out. Let's... Uh, definitely, let's fight it out. Oh, defeat? How? Oh, there's another army? Hold on. Yeah! Oh, hold on. Oh! Oh! Okay, Th that's... That's brilliant for the AI, actually. He, he didn't put one army in. He, he did the same thing that I do to him. He's learning. Guys, the AI is learning. So, yeah, I gotta move here and, and put this guy to defend. Let's see if I can bait. Biggest problem is that I'm gonna take some losses in territory here, but uh, overall, I think I'll end up winning uh, the exchange, actually. So you know, losing a couple of territories to gain a couple of terri uh, a couple of enemy armies to destroy them, it's it's always good. You know, it always helps. Unless you absolutely require those territories, which I can. Oh, hold on, there's France here. Okay, that is bad. I have barely enough uh, units to defend armies to defend there. Okay, so I gotta be extra careful. Uh, I think I can fight this one. Yeah, I think I can fight this one. Yeah, it's just a bunch of dwarfs. You know, dwarf warriors and stuff. Some artillery, but I have my own artillery. Yeah, it's that spheric victory. It not only destroys the laborers, I could go for it, but I don't want the, th those casualties, so I'll fight it out on the battlefield, definitely. My artillery, let's test it out against his. Yeah, let's go for it. And here we go, with my Chaos Dwarfs, to fight against the other Dwarfs, those weaklings. Yeah, this is some Inferno Guards with Glaives, with Fire Glaives, and some artillery that I'm bringing, including a Hell Cannon. These guys were upgraded, because they now hit really well. I'll try to talk less under these presentations to make it more cinematic. Some miners with blasting charges, by the way. They're getting hit now. 
lots of artillery versus artillery fire, including a bolt thrower, and even more infantry, tons of infantry to fight against. Okay, the battle plan is for my artillery to hit the enemy's artillery, the cannons, I gotta get rid of those, and the this hell cannon is gonna hit either the infantry or the artillery, depending on how it goes. My caster will try to get rid, the main premise is to kill these cannons, and I still have my uh, summon, which I'll definitely use against that, uh, or those artillery units, and then I'll try to just get a couple of lines there, infantry first, missile infantry on the back, supported by the heroes, that should be just really enough to deal with with the dwarves. Main key issue is how to deal with those single entities, but I do have my own to deal with them. Let's go. And a nice shot here. A really poor attempt of getting rid of some of these cannons with some magic. I could have used another spell. But it's not like I have too many. And got my guy in the harm's way, unfortunately. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Even though my demon smith is suffering some damage, it's good. And now this summon should get rid of most of the cannons and the bolt throwers. This is a very well placed strategic summon. And the enemy is trying to rush in with some infantry, but yeah, poor dwarfs. They still don't manage against these snake dudes. The Kadai units, they, they look so great. They're so amazing. Yeah, hit me with fire. That, that will do something. <laughs> Imagine it's literally fight fire with fire. Okay, so the enemy artillery is nearly dealt with, which is great. First step completed. Let's deal with everything else. Let's just watch the slaughter. So good. Uh, so nice watching lines collapse. Look at the enemy. He, he still has some infantry, but they're all nearly dying. Just as they arrive, which is great. And now my single entities are going to take care of the enemy's single entities. So yeah. Some missed shots there, but it's fine. Dwarfs on dwarfs. Well, chaos dwarfs versus, chaos versus dwarfs. No, oh, I gotta love how the, the, the animation of the shots of the blunderbusses is so cool. And yeah, these are just Chaos Warriors, uh, sorry, Dwarf Warriors and Miners, so they, they don't pose a threat. Let's go! <laughs> I knew what he would do. Yeah, lots of carnage, that's good. Nearly done with the battle. And yeah, my bull center trying to hit this <laughs> infernal engineer who keeps switching weapons. Not infernal engineer, he's just an, uh, an engineer from the dwarves. Oh, gotta love these mounts. Really find them so cool. You know, a bull with wings. What's not like it? Yeah. Those axes really, really are not that cool, you know. Don't let Scaligrim watch those axes. He's gonna get rid of those. <laughs> but yeah, everything is fine. Everything is done. They're dead. They're routing. That's cool. Victory. Very well. That's the end 
I did lose a lot of health in both my lord and hero, but that's that's about it. That's that's about what happened. So overall, that's not bad. Could have been a lot worse. He had artillery. Whenever the enemy has artillery, it's it's a big problem. Because it it always means sure fire damage. You know, it always means that they can get some damage going. So it's kind of a problem. I keep forgetting where do I have upkeep? It's only here. Uh, it's it's a lot to to use, especially when you already have logistician. You know, let's get just firing drills. It's cool. Oh, and I can get training or spray control. Spray control, of course. It's one of the issues. Okay, do I need reforge? No, I don't. Uh, what can I get? Medical reserves? Yeah, why not? And then we can get more flames. Uh, yeah, okay. That's cool. So, overall, is going well. And I'm just going to get these armies yet. Just going to merge all these armies and see... Uh, what type of army I can get. Yep, yeah, not gonna get anything with this guy. I'm just gonna move him here to merge with those guys. And same thing with this guy. I, I actually hired these units. I'm so I'm so dumb. I, I, didn't, I didn't realize that I was, I was gonna lose so much money uh, out of that. So, yeah, that was a problem. And there's no point actually doing anything here in Needling because they're just going to capture it. And instead, I'm just going to try to use some of the money that I can to get more income. Can I? Yes, it still won't put me on the red. Imminent Rebellion. That's, yeah, that's of course. It's always the changeling. Oh, and the convoys. Yeah, I'm going to need some convoys to go for gold. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's Ad Master. Where do we get gold? Oh, over there. Over there, the Volari, and where else? The Bay of Blades. Okay, that's nice. Yeah, that's, let's go for the gold. Let's go for the gold. Definitely need that. Armament, no, yeah, yeah. Let's go, dispatch it. I want the gold, and I'll need one more turn to get the second convoy going. Yeah, that's cool. That's a, a wonderful uh, mechanic, actually. Really love it. Uh, and in fact, many times I have more fun fighting the battles from the convoys than anything else. Okay. Oh, okay. This is interesting. I can get peace with both. Do I want that? Well, I'm kind of... I, I kind of want to be at war with someone that I can be conquering. Uh, maybe it gives me time to destroy the smaller factions here. So at least Reichland or at least Golden Order. That's what I'm thinking. And who gives me more gold? They give me 2,000. Uh, should it be? I, I think I actually want to defeat Balthazagelt faster. And just let Reichland... Oh, yeah, the offer's more money. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's take the offer of peace. Anything else that I can get? No, not really. But it's cool. That's good development, actually. Because now I can focus a little bit more on the golden order and the dwarfs so yeah i guess that'll be it for this episode and i'll organize and i'll see you guys next time